Why do my goldfish die so fast? Are you curious as to why your precious goldfish die so fast? In this Gen X Pets video we will discuss a few reasons why your goldfish may die unexpectedly. But before we begin, we want to thank you for returning to the channel, and for those who have not yet subscribed, we kindly ask you to do so to be notified when we drop a new video. Let us get right into the video. Generally speaking, most species of goldfish, when properly cared for, can live upwards of 20 years. Given proper amounts of space and nutrition, goldfish can grow to be a foot long or larger. So, why do some goldfish die so fast? Let us look at a few reasons why this may occur. 1. Purchasing low quality fish. The purchase of low quality fish can be a big issue. Often when starting a goldfish pond, potential fish keepers visit a pet store and purchase cheap feeder goldfish. Feeder goldfish have been raised in extremely low quality conditions, as they are kept just long enough to be fed to other animals. These conditions do not create very healthy fish specimens, and feeder fish do not usually enjoy the same longevity as other goldfish raised in more optimal conditions. 2. Poor water quality. One of the paramount reasons most goldfish die quickly is due to poor water quality. This poor water quality may be down the build-up or lack of chemicals in the tank or pond. Let us look at some of them in detail. Nitrogen build-up in your goldfish bowl or pond. Fish waste, decaying matter, and other organic materials break down into ammonium, which is deadly to fish in low concentrations. Beneficial bacteria are essential to break down the ammonium into nitrite, which is still toxic to fish, and then further into nitrate, which is only toxic at very high concentrations. Nitrate is absorbed by plants. If you find that your nitrogen levels are too high, you may have too many fish in your aquarium or pond, not enough plants, or have not allowed enough beneficial bacteria to build up in the ecosystem to keep up with ammonium levels. Next we have low oxygen levels. Though fish don't breathe air as humans do, they filter oxygen that is dissolved in the water in which they live. Signs that your tank or pond may have low oxygen levels include fish congregating and swimming near the surface and seemingly gulping for air, foul odors, and aggressive algae growth. When there is not enough oxygen in your tank or pond, the largest fish normally die first. Some potential causes of low oxygen levels include high temperatures or lack of shade, lack of water movement, dirty filters, you need more plants, lack of water surface area, Next we have, chlorine buildup. If you have a small pond, you add water to, or are making water changes, you may use tap water to facilitate your needs. Tap water has added chlorine or chloramine, that is extremely harmful to fish. If your tap water has the gaseous chlorine added to it, simply setting your water aside for a few days will allow the gas to dissipate out naturally, before adding the water to your water. Temperature. Goldfish enjoy water temperatures between 62 and 70 degrees. So make sure there are no lights into the tank, which can warm up the water. 3. Goldfish death by illness. Another leading cause of goldfish deaths new fish keepers face is from an illness. Here are some common illnesses goldfish can suffer from. Itch. Itch is a curable parasite that appears as white spots on the gills and body of a goldfish. The best way to treat itch is to isolate the sick individual in a hospital tank and treat with a fungicide. Flukes. Symptoms of flukes include fish scratching their bodies on surfaces, an outer mucus covering, and swollen bellies. Flukes are parasitic flatworms that attach to the inside if a fish's gills and infestations are treated with doses of praziquantel. Swim bladder disease. Swim bladder disease is characterized by fish swimming sideways or upside down, often with a distended belly. This issue is usually caused by overfeeding, so consider feeding less or even fasting your fish for a few days. Ideally, you should only feed your goldfish as much food as they can completely consume in a few short minutes for overfeeding your goldfish. Swim bladder disease is not the only possible repercussion of overfeeding your goldfish. Feeding your goldfish more than they can eat at one time can lead to algae blooms, which won't hurt your fish, but may ruin your tank's aesthetic. 
The risk is that when treating the algae bloom, the vast die-off of algae could raise the ammonium to toxic levels very quickly, thus killing your goldfish. So, what have we covered today? We highlighted that, when goldfish are of a high quality, properly cared for, and are raised in the correct conditions, they can live upwards of 20 years. However, there are a few factors which can harm your goldfish or even be fatal to them. These include poor water quality, overfeeding and various other illnesses. The good news is that these factors are preventable and treatable for the most part. We sincerely hope that you experience the joys and rewards of goldfish rearing. Let us know in the comments of your special experiences with your goldfish. Thanks for watching, and we hope you will join us next time for another exciting video in the world of pets.